Hey guys, good morning. This is Dan with Larger Support. How are you all doing? In this video today, I'm going to show you how to make sure that your new Ledger device is genuine and safe to use. Let's go. The reason why I'm making this video is because it's a question that we get a lot at support. Someone gets a new Ledger device, so that could be a Ledger Nano S Plus or a Ledger Nano X and they're not sure it's safe to use because maybe the package was a little open or the plastic wrapper around the box was a little scratched so they might be worried that someone somehow manipulated the device in some ways that makes it unsafe to use so in this video i'm going to go over things that you can do to make sure that your ledger device is completely safe to use I'm also making this video for you guys if you've bought your new Ledger device via Amazon. I know um, a lot of you might think that Amazon is unsafe to buy devices from, but it's actually not the case. But of course, there are some precautions when you buy a Ledger device generally that you need to apply, and those apply to devices that you bought via Amazon as well. So this video will show you how to make sure that your new device is safe to use, whether you bought it from Amazon, a reseller, or the Ledger website. And so one final note before we get into the video, the tips I'm going to show you guys apply for all different Nano devices. So it doesn't matter if you bought a new Nano S Plus, Nano X, or even a Nano S, the tips all apply to all different devices. Okay, so the first tip I wanted to share is that don't worry too much if the parcel is scratched or open like you see on the picture here. And the reason why is because sometimes when we ship a device, the custom authorities will open the parcel to take a look at what's inside. Now, it doesn't mean the device is necessarily unsafe to use. Of course, it's a cause for vigilance, but it doesn't mean the device is compromised. Similarly, once you get your nano box and you realize the plastic wrapper around the box is not in pristine condition, it might be a little scratch, then again, it's not necessarily a cause for concern. Of course, it calls for more vigilance and there are steps that you need to take to make sure the device is genuine. But again, it's not because the wrapper is damaged that the device is unsafe to use. So should you be vigilant? Yes. But does it mean that the device has been necessarily compromised and is unsafe to use? No. Okay, so now we are going to go into the things that you should really pay attention to. So the first thing and the most important thing to pay attention to when you get your new device is to make sure that the device is indeed new and it's never been initialized before. Switch on the device and then pay close attention of what's going on on the screen. A genuine new device should show you the Ledger logo followed immediately by the welcome screen. If, however, the Ledger device is showing you the Ledger logo followed by a pin screen, this means that the device has been initialized in the past and is not safe to use. So let me show you what that would look like. Let's say this device is what I think is a new device. I just got it from the box and I'm switching it out for the first time. Now, look at what happens. The Ledger logo shows and it goes immediately to pin screen. It means that the device has been initialized before and I should be very careful. So typically, if you get a device that's been tampered with and the first thing you see when you activate the device is the pen screen, usually the box will also contain a little card with a provided pin code. If that's the case and you find a card with a pin code or a recovery phrase into your new box, then this is definitely a huge red flag and you should not use the device. So the second very important thing you should do is to make sure that the recovery sheets that came in the box are blank. So you have an example of what a blank recovery sheet should look like. They are two different formats of recovery sheets, so some of them might look a little different, but the most important is that they don't have words on the recovery sheet, of course. If that's the case, it might be because someone has already initialized the device, created 20 forward recovery phrase with the device, and then now it's trying to trick you into using a preset device they have access to. So again, guys, the recovery sheets should be perfectly blank. If you find words on your recovery sheet, or if the nano box comes with a little card with a pin code, or a recovery phrase with all the words already written on it, then this is definitely a red flag and you should be very, very careful. 
So the reason why the situation is dangerous is because if you find a pin code and recovery phrase into your new nano box, it means that the device has been initialized by someone else. So that person is trying to scam you because they want you to go ahead, use the pin code and create accounts with that device. But because they have also access to your recovery phrase, it means that they have access to the private keys to your accounts. So now they're just waiting for you to send funds to your accounts to steal those funds. So again, guys, the recovery sheets that come in the box should be completely blank. And the first time you set up the device, the device should show you the ledger logo followed by the welcome screen. If you see the ledger logo followed by the pin screen, this means the device is not safe to use. Something important to clarify is when we mean the device is not safe to use, we mean unless you reset the device to factory settings and you create a new pin and new 24 word recovery phrase with the device. In this case, it doesn't matter if the device was previously set up by someone who's trying to scam you. As long as you get rid of this old recovery phrase, this old pin code, reset the device and create your own pin code and recovery phrase, then the device becomes safe again. Because by resetting the device to factory settings, what you're doing is removing the scammer's private keys from the device and starting completely fresh. And of course, even if it's technically possible to reset your device and make it safe again, a lot of you guys might not be comfortable doing this, uh, which is perfectly understandable. You don't want to use a device that's been tampered with, even though resetting the device will make it perfectly safe. We understand that. If that's your case and you don't want to use that device anymore, then please reach out to us. We'll find a solution for you and potentially replace the device. So another way scammers might try to get a hold of your funds is by trying to trick you into downloading a Ledger Live app that's not genuine. That scammy Ledger Live app would probably try to steal your recovery phrase in a way by prompting you to type your 24 words into the app. So the only place that's really safe to download Ledger Live is from the ledger.com website. So go to ledger.com, go to apps and services, select Ledger Live, and this page compiles links to all the different versions of Ledger Live you might need. There is a link to download Ledger Live on Windows, on Mac, on Linux, and if you're a mobile user, then you can go ahead and go to the download on mobile section here at the bottom, and then you can select your OS. Again, it's really, really important that you download a genuine version of Ledger Live. There's been situations where people have been scammed because they have downloaded a fake version of Ledger Live that asked them to type the 24 word recovery phrase in the app. If that's your case, then please, please, please do not type your 24 word recovery phrase into Ledger Live. Ledger Live and Ledger the company will never ask you for a 24 word recovery phrase. So be super careful with that. Another protection against scam is what we call the genuine check. The genuine check happens at the very end of the onboarding via Ledger Live right before you're able to go into the dashboard and create your first Ledger Live accounts. The genuine check is basically Ledger Live checking that your device was indeed manufactured by Ledger and is safe to use. So let me show you how it works. Here's how to do a genuine check. Click check my nano. You're getting a prompt on the device, which you need to accept using the buttons. So validate that. And now Ledger Live is doing the genuine check. You see now it says, all good, your Ledger Nano S Plus is genuine. So this means the device is safe to use and I can proceed. I'm going to click continue. Accept the terms of use. And now I'm on the dashboard and I'm ready to create my first account with my Ledger device. Something you might not realize is every single time you want to connect your Ledger device to my Ledger, if for example, you want to install new apps or uninstall old apps, Every single time you're doing this, Ledger Live is actually performing a genuine check on your device. Something important to keep in mind, however, is that the genuine check is only checking whether the Ledger device you're using has been manufactured by Ledger or not. But the genuine check is not able to tell if the Ledger device that you're using has been previously set up or not. This means that the genuine check should be used in combinations with the other tips that I shared earlier. The most important being that your Ledger device should create a new pin 
and 20 forward recovery phrase for you when you set it up for the first time. All right, guys, so before we wrap up the video, I also wanted to point out that we have a article on the Help Center that explains uh, how to make sure that your ledger device is genuine. It goes through all the tips that we just explained, but it's in written form and some of you might want to check that out as well. And guys, of course, if you have any questions or any doubts, then please do reach out to Ledger Support so we can help you and make sure that you can use your Ledger device safely. The way you can reach out to us is via the Help Center. So that would be ledger.com, click the Support tab, and there is a Help button that you can click. You'll be able to live chat with an agent or send us an email. Another way to reach out to us is via Twitter. You can find us at ledger underscore support. That's ledger underscore support. However, be very, very careful on Twitter. There's a lot of fake accounts and people that will try to scam you out of you 20 forward recovery phrase. So again, guys, on Twitter, we'll never DM you, we'll never ask you to fill in Google Forms, and we'll never, never, never ask you for a 20 forward recovery phrase. Anyone trying to get you into DMs, fill in the form, or asking you for your 20 forward recovery phrase is basically trying to scam you and to get your coins. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about the video, you can drop them in the comments. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good weekend and stay safe. Bye.